Hello. So we are exactly one week away from the premiere of the invention of lying at the Toronto International Film Festival. And I was doing a little reminiscing today and found this giant box of invention of lying things over there. It's very bright in the corner of the room. It almost looks like there's a small sun outside of my house. It really doesn't look that bright from in here. Very sensitive quick time camera. Alrighty. Um, so I thought I would go through the box and show you a few uh, a few cool things. Um, I'm gonna try and do a few more of these videos in Toronto. Take my little flip phone guy with me and uh, try and put some fun videos up of the experience of premiering the invention of line. Um, so let's go through this little box here. There's some fun stuff, interesting things. Uh, this is the, the crew jacket. Ooh, what's, what's that title? It's not, not the title of our film anymore. Useless, kind of a useless jacket to wear around now. I wear this jacket around. Uh, it's a movie that doesn't exist. But there you go. That's a, a very nice crew gift. Uh, there's another crew gift of a hat. Which is floating around or something. Here is uh, my, my chair back. It's called a chair back. It's what goes... Hello, camera. On the chair. There's my name on that. You know, my first movie. I don't know if Kubrick saved his chair backs. Probably didn't. Uh, this is Slate. There's my little name. Ricky Gervais. Tim Surstead. Uh, maybe this was the last take of the movie. See, see. 317, A camera. Scene. I don't know what that was. It was some little random shot. I only did one take. Big time. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, this is cool. This is the, uh, the first, what's called a, a pink shooting script. This is the first script that was locked that we started shooting with. This is the production script, the very first. First time that we were not going to write new things. Uh, this is our, um, our test scores. Ooh, yeah, they test films sometimes, and and uh, people tell you what they thought. Not critics, or people who have educations in cinema, or particularly have any skills or trade skills, but this one says excellent. I put that one on the top so you don't fucking kill yourself right away. Um, but they were fine. They were fine. They were great. Got some varieties that I saved of things. Uh, you know, you save them. Truth. Taps. Main man. Ricky Gervais will take on the starring role in This Side of the Truth. Not the title. The, the media rights capital finance comedy shoots in the spring. Well, that was a while ago. September 13th, 2007. Takes a long time to make a movie. More copies. That's a big deal for me. Um, there's another. I don't know. There's another one. I'm sure there's something about it in here. Uh, oh, these is cool. These were my notes on the very first time I ever met with Ricky. All the notes that I took. Kept that. Don't know why. Uh, original poster mock-ups. They give you a million ideas. Probably they probably don't want me to show you this. I'll show you. There's one we didn't use that. That's not the poster. Oh, that's not the poster either. But there's you know like fucking twenty of them in here. Things that were not the poster. Um, born, born yet? Uh, photos. All the set. This is our photographer, Sam Erdank. On set photographer. Every movie has an on set photographer to use. They shoot as much as they can without interrupting the scene. Uh, and then you have things that look like scenes from the movie. That's the little date scene at the opening. And they send those out to magazines and publicity and things like that. So a, lot, a lot of those. Um, I don't know what this is. What's this? Oh. 
Oh, yeah, this is good. These are, uh, well, these aren't very relevant anymore, but, yeah, storyboards, and things, some scenes that we, guys, this was before the script was finished, some of these scenes we didn't end up shooting, some of them were cool, the caveman scene, which did get cut, but there's all of these cool storyboards for the caveman scene that we spent a lot of time on. Um, and then, pretty much, this is every daily for the film, ever. And, and some other scenes that have nothing to do with anything, but that's basically, like, fuck, 20 pounds of dailies. That's every daily we ever shot. There's absolutely no reason I kept that. I'll never look at them. Um, but they send them to you every day when you're shooting, and I kept them. Uh... I don't know, it's the first movie. You save stuff. Um, that's pretty much everything. Is there anything else cool that I can show you? I have a leather-bound version of the script somewhere that I got also as a gift, but I don't know where that is. Anyway, one week from today, Toronto, TIFF, Toronto International Film Festival 09, we premiere. Uh, I'm excited, I'm nervous, and uh, I will keep coming to you with videos, hopefully, in Toronto some fun videos with people in the film, things like that. Uh, wish me luck, and I will see you all in Toronto.